What's up guys? So today we are going to use the broom or anything that looks like a broom, your umbrella, mop or whatever to do some dance techniques, okay? So the first technique that we're going to learn is uh, it's called like the neck of flex or the bottom first, okay? It's two different names but actually they are using kind of like the same technique in popping. So what you want to do is just put the broom or the stick on, on your shoulders like this and what you want to do is just kind of twist to the left and to the right okay so you want to try to slowly increase the range of motion that you can almost face the back almost okay you don't have to do that if you can let me know <laughs> all right so after warming this up uh, what this does is like it loosens up your your waist area okay so that you can then twist the upper while the lower body stays still and then vice versa all right so this technique uh okay like we call it the bottom first all right uh what we're gonna do is the legs what you want to do one leg goes up okay you're gonna step behind the other leg like this and the other leg is gonna lift off and face the back okay one more time my right leg steps behind my left leg then my left leg steps together with the right leg to face the back okay so one more time I'm gonna do it slow step and step all right so it happens almost like uh, it's, it's really a smooth transition okay so there's no break so it's not like a step step but it looks more like a step and Right, so make it smooth. Let's try it one more time. Five, six, seven, go. Stare. Alright, remember one feet goes first. The other way is the same thing. If your left leg first, then right leg follows. <coughs> Let's try that one more time. Fast to the left. Seven, go. Step, step, recover back. Step, step. One more time. Step. Step, coming back, step, step. So left or right is going to be the same technique, all right? So now, here's where we really do the bottom first. So using that technique, what you want to do is like, you want to keep like as if the broom is stuck there. So when I do the feet, right, my arms and my body is not moving. So it's like, you see like this? Like just now with the, with the broom facing the front, you're going to hold it there. Try to go as far as you can, you know? It's not possible to go full 180 degrees but you want your feet to go as far back as possible okay so we're gonna if you want you can imagine with this if it helps okay and we're gonna go step step as far as you can go twist your body as front as you can and only at the last minute you're gonna swing it back okay and coming back front is the same thing we're gonna go step step and twist so it's almost like uh, how to say like your scrunching a towel and then letting it go okay so watch again five six seven go step step twist and step step twist all right so that's what uh bottom first does okay so neck of flex is just almost the same it's just that your upper body goes first and then the lower body goes so it's hit and then go hit and then go hit and then go and stop but we won't be doing that today we'll just be focusing more on the bottom first all right cut all right so the next technique that we're gonna do today is uh actually using the stick to kind of like align and move the shoulders okay so what you're gonna do is with the with the broom or mop or whatever on your shoulders like this what we're going to do is we're going to lean to the sides but keep the stick parallel to the floor so you want to kind of like angle your shoulders so that you keep it parallel like this okay so what this does is like it trains the your shoulder muscle memory to kind of like stay parallel to the floor okay the other exercise that you can do as well is kind of like 
hold the stick and then move it left to right like this while keeping that shoulders parallel so it kind of trains the body okay let's go a few more times do very nice and notice how we are leaning to the side with each shoulder but both shoulders are parallel to the floor as if it's like this okay and last two times and we're good come back and now we're gonna learn the little sequence that we've come up with for the broom okay so you want to hold the broom this way and you're gonna just spend four counts walking in to clean so you're gonna go one two three four okay on five take another step six seven eight right we're going to turn to my right side and we're gonna put the broom on your shoulder like this while turning okay one more time five six seven go one two three four five six seven eight okay so you got four counts to turn so take your time one last time and we move on five six seven go clean two three four five six seven eight okay from here we're gonna do the bottom first to your right so we're gonna go step step one two and it twist three four repeat that again five six and seven eight you should be facing the front all right let's get that one more time seven go one two three four five six seven eight very nice all right now continue the third eight we're gonna go up front and push it now in front and come back and we're gonna turn or twist it to the left and twist it to the right okay so let me explain this part uh, in more detail so when we go up right it's just the arms but when we go to the front we're gonna look up at the same time so like that up and come back okay and then when we twist to the side the feet are also gonna kind of twist like this and twist like that all right so let's try it one more time from the back here five six seven go one two three four five six seven eight all right so that's your third eight so when you twist remember use the uh, one legs on the heel and the others on the toe so you get a very nice kind of twist like this twist like this and twist like this all right and now let's continue uh, with the fourth eight okay so after we do up and front and side and side and we're gonna take this room and swing it like 360 degrees so just transfer to your left hand and do a little swing and just take a casual two steps to the right side okay so watch again so after we go twist and twist and we're gonna take a step and stop all right and from here we're gonna lean the body and then we're gonna do a ball change chip chat lean the body one more time and another ball change and that's the first part all right so let's try that one more time the last eight of the first part five six from here front side and side and we go one two three four five and six seven and eight. let's try everything from the top so far all right five six five six seven go clean two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight very nice we're gonna continue we ended with five six seven eight all right so here we're gonna you don't you're not gonna stop the moment you reach eight you're gonna do a few ball change da, 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 da. but we're gonna keep the body in the center so the body does not move, only the feet moves like this. Ball change, ball change, ball change. Okay, that'll be one, two, three, four. So we ended here.
We end on five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and three, and four. So you should end with your left foot uh, more on the outside. Okay? One more time. From the previous one. Five, six, seven, eight, go. One and two and three and four. Here you're gonna pick up the broom. At the same time, you're gonna pick up the right leg and step. Okay, so let me explain the feet first. So after we end here, the feet goes like this. Ball, change and swing and swing left okay so this swing right let's do this little exercise put the broom in the middle so what you want to do is you kind of want to like pick up the knee and lean at the other opposite direction so it's almost like this like a roly-poly okay and then the feet always goes in the center 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 all right one more time and center 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 but the upper body remember the exercise that we did just now we're gonna counterbalance to keep it parallel to the floor so it looks like this boom okay so now with the step from here we end and we're gonna start with one two three four and five six seven eight yeah that's your first eight of the second part okay then once we land here eight we're gonna do a clean which goes like one two three four so every time on the odd number you're gonna lean low so you can go low and low and okay so one more time here five six seven go low and low and next part you're gonna walk smooth and stay with the broom like a robot you know so it looks like this you go smooth so try not to bend your knees and try to slide the feet on the floor and keep the posture there so it looks really mechanical all right let's try that one more time from the sweep five six from here seven eight go one two three four and five six seven stop Okay, very nice. So now, the third eight, okay? So the moment you stop there, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your right leg should be in front. What you're gonna do is you're gonna slide it back as if it's running. Slide it back and then slide the other feet back. And tap on the floor with your left leg. Now you're gonna push the right leg back. Push. And we're gonna switch and we're gonna push left leg and we're gonna switch and we're gonna push right leg and we're gonna switch and we're gonna push left leg switch right switch left so we're gonna do a quick back glide all right from here so one more time we're gonna push we're gonna run in the air first one two three four and slide 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 do Alright, so let's try that one more time. So eight, five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time with the slide. Five, six, seven, go. Run, run, slide. Do. Yeah. Okay, so just have fun with it. Uh, spend that eight sliding back. And then the last eight, right? The moment you finish that, you're gonna go slow. Clean, slow motion. And we're gonna go hyper speed. And to the front. That's it. So just have fun with the last two eights, yeah? So one more time, uh, I'm gonna go through these four eights. And then uh, we're gonna try to piece up part one, part two, and into a full piece, okay? So we end here. Let's start on five, six, seven, eight. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go. Sweep. Two, three, 
four, and five, six, seven, eight. Uh, try the whole sequence from the top, and then we'll try it with music. Let's start. Get your broom ready. And five, six, seven, clean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Go run, two, three, four. Slide, sweep, and fast, six, seven, eight. I'll try it uh, from the top with music. So you can choose any song you want. Uh, as long as you've got a clear tempo, you should be fine. All right, let's go. Music. <laughs> 